Well, hello, Darkfish Rally friends. Friday lunchtime here at Rally Sweden. Four stages down this morning. And what a dramatic morning it has been. We woke up to the forecast, the threat of snow. It was almost drizzling as we left Umeå this morning, but that rapidly, as you can see, turned into snow. We have had quite an accumulation out on the stages. What has that meant? Well, it's meant that we've seen all sorts of drama out there this morning. The man who perhaps got away with it, and he was the first man to come across trouble, was Elvin Evans in the second stage of the morning. An enormous spin, a high-speed spin, 360 degrees, didn't stop, kept going, absolutely nailed it in that spin, got away with it. We then went on. Let's just go back and see what happened in the opening stage and the second stage. In terms of the times, yes, Robin Perra was very much on top of things, but he wasn't happy. He really wasn't happy. At the end of the second stage, he said, it's embarrassing how badly I'm driving out there. Never heard that from Robin Perra before. We're not sure yet what he was referring to, whether it was the performance of the car, whether it was his performance. I suspect it was his performance. What did that tell us? It told us that Robin Perra was a little bit discombobulated. He wasn't absolutely on it as we expected him to be. His lead after three stages, two this morning, well, it was only round about, I can't remember, I think it was about 15 or so seconds. We thought he would be well down the road, but the others were still very much in touch with Cali Robin Perra. Esa Pekka Lapi was the man that we thought with road position would challenge Robin Perra out there this morning. He did, but it took him a little while to get up to speed. He struggled through stage one last night, struggled through the opening stage this morning, stage two at the rally, then found his form through stage three and stage four. But it was stage four where it all kicked off. Oit Tanak, really great job from Oit Tanak through the opening two stages. To stay in touch with Robin Perra, to stay in touch with Lappi, it all went wrong for Tanak in stage four. He had a very big spin indeed, heavily into the snowbanks with the rear of the car, very heavily with the front of the car. He got going, but what happens when you hit the front of the car into a snowbank, you pack the radiator with snow. No air through the radiator, overheating engine. He stopped, removed that snow, lots of steam still around the car. They pulled off in EV modes, but it wasn't enough. They then had to stop a few hundred meters along the stage. Tanak is finished for the day. Has he cooked that engine? That is the big question. If he has, we won't see him again for the weekend. If he hasn't, he still has a chance to score good points. We were kind of reeling at Tanak's mistake when we heard about Robin Perra. Having heard from him at the end of the previous stage saying it was embarrassing, well, he went and absolutely embarrassed himself in stage four. He put it off. Similar thing we believe to Tanak. We're not, we can't confirm that yet, but we certainly believe that Kali Robin Perra also had a bit of a spin, did some damage, had to stop at the side of the road. His day is over again. No confirmation yet as to whether we'll see him back out. What does that mean? in terms of overalls. Well, there were a few other drivers who had issues. Munster had a problem in there. We know that Adrian Formo also had a spin, but the man who's had a fault this morning is Takamoto Katsuta. He leads a lot of people. Talked about Takasan before this event as potentially being a podium sitter. You've now got to look at him as a winner here. His lead, 11.4 seconds. Behind him, Esapeka Lapi. Uh, remarkably, Still in touch, you'd have to say. Elvin Evans, within 15 seconds of the lead, for Mo is not too far behind Evans. So we potentially have four drivers still very much fighting for the win here. But at lunchtime on Saturday, the man in the box seat is Takamoto Katsuta. As you can see, the snow is still coming down heavily. They are still plowing the service station here and removing the snow from the top of the stage. What happened this morning? They ploughed the stage two hours before the start. They haven't ploughed it since then. There has been an accumulation. Thierry Neuville battled through this morning, hasn't made any mistakes. He is going to have a proper, proper battle this afternoon. So much fresh snow on those stages. It was a dramatic morning, folks. It really, really was an enormously dramatic morning. What does this afternoon hold? Who knows? But you know where you've got to stay. Dirtfish.com this afternoon. For I am absolutely certain more drama in the remaining four stages today of Rally Sweden.